Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome to this next video. Uh, I'll just get right into it. We're gonna be solo camping out in the cold. It's gonna be getting pretty cold. We're down to 25 degrees Fahrenheit or this many uh, degrees Celsius, but our sleeping bag is rated for 15 degrees, but we have a bivy bag going too, which raises your temperature a little bit. So we should be good. It should be a fun night. Uh, I'm just figuring out the food situation and then I'm gonna go shower and then we are gonna be on our way. So let's cut over to something else. All right, so the game plan is I'm gonna go head out to get food. I will come back here and then uh, I'm gonna put the dogs away and then we're gonna go out to the campsite. If you are curious about the setup, this is what we have. I just have the bike and then I have these saddlebags on the back. Anyway, let's go ahead and go get some food. I will be right back. Saddlebags are totally packed and the FC is good to go. So I'm gonna head over to the camp spot. Um, because it's cold and I have the winter gloves on and doing like the camera angles and everything is kind of hard. I'm not gonna really film the like ride up there, so my apologies for that. So let me just cut over. This is what the campsite looks like. All right, we are here in the middle of nowhere and I have arrived at the campground. Let me rephrase, I have almost arrived to the campground. <laughs> Came across this little obstacle. Uh, there is a down tree on the path. Now, if I had a dirt bike, I could just go over to like one of those sections, pop over it. This thing bottomed out. <laughs> I scraped the exhaust so bad over like three big hills trying to get into this campsite. So we're gonna have to do, uh, I'm probably just gonna have to cut this section. It's a down tree, so this is fine. And then uh, I'll make it past there, probably like 200 feet down, and then the camping spot is there. So <laughs> I took out a little section right there, and then I moved it over there. And now I will finish the journey. Well, son of a gun, there's another one. <laughs> Dang it. This one though poses a bit more of a challenge because there's the stump side and then the long side goes down like 20 feet that way. So this one was more tiring, <laughs> but we have a path now, so onward. All right, I have made it into the campsite. So yes, uh, we are here. Let me show you what we got. And uh, yeah, it feels very nostalgic over here. <laughs> I'll, uh, yeah, I'll throw in a flashback. So Bryce and I actually found this spot uh, probably like a year and a half, maybe two years ago. And we've only camped here once and we were super ill prepared for it. Luckily this time I actually have like proper gear. But last time we ended up like freezing through the entire night, but uh, we camped right there and we made that into a moto vlog. So let me throw up a clip of that right now. All right, so it's morning now. We, uh, we kind of slept through the night. It got a little bit colder than we were expecting. So what we had in the hammocks didn't really do us that much good. We, uh, we tried boiling some water and then we threw that into a water bottle and then that kind of helped keep us insulated. It was good heat for a while, but uh, that along with hand warmers, it did not make it through the night. But yeah, so that is what our last trip here was like uh, this time. It's kind of nice. I can tell other people have been having fires here because I don't think that that's the same uh, fire pit that we used. But then there's also a good amount of wood over here, which is awesome. Lots of downed trees, lots of freedom. So allow me to go pitch up the hammock and uh, after I get camp set up a little bit more, I will give you guys a quick tour. We have that. Uh, I have hung up the hammock. Um, I realized that I have like a ton of excess going on here, but nevertheless, the hammock is up and I have tested. It is supporting my weight just fine, so we are good. Um, now what I'm essentially gonna be doing for the next while is just, I'm gonna put my sleeping pad into the hammock, my bivy bag, my sleeping bag, and then I'm gonna do a bunch of firewood collection. Camping is a workout. I, I forgot about that. <laughs> Some time has passed since that last clip. Um, I don't know what time it is. I'm assuming it's probably about five. The sun is starting to go down. It is very cold. <laughs> I found a few puddles and they're like totally frozen over right now. So I am gonna go ahead and get this fire started here in a few minutes. And then uh, once I get the fire going, I will make some food and I'll show you what we have for that. Our dinner for the night is a chicken teriyaki. And uh, yeah, this is pretty good. I have a, uh, a little propane uh, stove with me and some water for this. And we should be good there. I have some more snacks. 
this is camp and let's cut over to after the fire is up and going all right so a little moral victory got the fire started um we're waiting for it to really catch now luckily we have a pretty pretty good supply of wood for the night so we should be good i'm probably going to only keep it going until about 10 or so and then i'll pack it in and go to bed so we have a little bit less than like four hours that this is going to have to last us and we have a lot of wood so we're good there uh i did want to say my apologies for not filming a lot of the transitions and doing like more time lapses and stuff i promise you i will in future camping videos the only reason i'm not on this one is because of how cold it's going to get tonight it's kind of like a life or death thing so <laughs> i don't want to waste too much time setting up tripods and getting cool time lapses i want to more make sure that like all my bases are covered just because i don't do trips like this that often and i'm all on my own this is a uh, my first solo trip that i've done in the states so yeah i want to make this into a habit though so yeah but uh in future ones because the weather's going to start warming up here as time goes on and in future videos i will definitely get you more content than this i promise Thank you for sticking around in this one though. I really appreciate it. So yeah, anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's just keep on seeing what content Tyler comes up with after this. All right, what's up guys? So what I will show you is uh, just cause the fire's up and going now, it is healthy and running strong. Uh, I'm gonna start getting dinner ready. So uh, for this one, I already have a pre-measured water amount stored in this Gatorade container. We're just gonna dump that in here. Cool. All right, and now we're gonna get the heater going. Now that's lit, put your water on top. This is like a cooking with Tyler, but Blair Witch Project style. We're waiting for water to boil. Uh, I'll pick it back up. Actually, I'll just pick it back up after this thing is cooked. I'll see you in a few. Oh yeah, fire is killing it. The heat from it is awesome. Um, pretty much just chilling right now. Oh, the uh, the food is cooked. If you're kind of curious, this is what it looks like. Does not look appetizing, I know, but it actually smells and tastes fantastic. So that is all that matters. Um, yeah, hang on, let me flip the camera around. Essentially, I'm just gonna hang around the campfire. I brought a cigar with me, so yeah, I might enjoy that. I'm in a good headspace. It was like, I was kind of, a little stressed before because you know you just like see how cold it is you get up here and you realize how cold it is and it's like a little stressful but after you have like camp set up you have a good fire supply i mean a good wood supply the fire's going and like you have everything just where it needs to be it's actually really peaceful and i'm remembering now why i wanted to come out here so yeah just in a good headspace i brought stuff to read too and i brought a bunch of netflix to watch on my phone so that's always a good time and uh, yeah. Every now and then, like if I walk away from the fire, I'm like, oh yeah, it's kind of cold out. But for the most part, this is just really, really relaxing. Um, there is one last thing that I'm really not looking forward to tonight, and that is the uh, getting into my hammock. Getting into the hammock always sucks. And when it's really cold, it really sucks. But um, yeah after you like get in though and you get settled it's perfect but it's just the act of like climbing up and like getting your way into your sleeping bag it's so rough so i'm not looking forward to that but we are uh we'll be doing that here pretty soon Alrighty, what's up guys how are you doing uh hope good because there was like no time that has passed between the last time that you saw me but um so it is eight o'clock now so i'm gonna go ahead and pop my melatonin and then uh yeah now i'm probably gonna wait a few more minutes and then head over to the hammock, so I will see you guys over there. But before we go, one last appreciation for this awesome campfire. It has been super, super great. Nothing like staring into a campfire for a long time. It's always good. 
All right, little update. It is 8.30 something, maybe 8.40, and uh, I have made it into the hammock. That was just as challenging as it always is, but uh, once you're in here, it's so nice. It's very comfortable, so yeah. Anyway, I am probably going to go watch some Netflix and then fall asleep, so I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> I look like a ninja. Hold up. Woo, okay. Yeah, I'll take that. So, what's up guys? It is morning now. It's about 9 in the morning. And, uh, yeah. So, let's talk about sleep. How did that go? Um, I didn't sleep amazing. And not because I was freezing. I wasn't, like, shivering. Uh, it was more just, like, just cold enough, you know? Where I couldn't, like... 100% of me couldn't stay warm so it was mainly just my toes and then my butt because I accidentally let out too much air out of my sleeping pad so I'm like sitting a little bit on the like pinching the sleeping pad together so there's like not as much wind protection as there could be and then my toes I don't know why those were getting cold but I put a hand warmer down into like that side of the sleeping bag and it worked pretty awesome so now uh, here we are it is nine in the morning um, I'm probably going to take off around noon because it's pretty cold right now and I want to wait for it to warm up a little bit so it's not freezing on the way back and uh, I'm probably going to try to make another fire. I don't know how well it's going to go. I was looking and I used up pretty much all of my seasoned wood and I only have like wet stuff right now but if I could get one going that would be awesome. So if the next shot is me with a fire, pretty good day. Little campfire, awesome. Is uh, being really nice for warming up my toes because my toes were pretty much the only thing that got really cold last night. So yeah, I'm gonna stand around this for a while and then uh, I'm gonna let the sun get up a little bit higher just so it warms up a little bit more. And then I will start packing up camp and be on our way home. So heck yeah, successful trip. All right, it is pretty much not cold anymore uh i mean it's like a little chilly but it's not bad anymore the sun is officially in a pretty good spot where i am happy to ride home in this kind of weather so the fire i'm just enjoying it i'm not adding any more logs to it all right before we go i saved the best part of packing up camp for last and i will share that with you guys oh yeah I am good to go. I'm going to start riding home. I was debating doing the whole like cool where I set up the camera a bunch of times and get that cool, you know, transition, but uh, admittedly I'm still pretty cold. So once I get riding, I just want to finish riding. And then uh, whenever I get home, I'm going to go take a very hot shower, but I'm going to finish the vlog when I get home. So I will see you guys in a split second and there will no longer be trees behind me, but there will be houses. Wait, okay, I lied, I lied. Before we go to the houses, one last note. Look at this. Ready for it? Oh my gosh, look at that view. Seriously could stare at that all day. Very gorgeous. Okay, now to the house. All right, so I am home and that marks the end of our very cold, very below freezing uh, camping trip. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please, please give it a like, subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna put out a bunch more content like this. Uh, as the temperature raises, I will definitely be doing like more in depth videos. This one was more of just like trying to stay warm. So my apologies for that, but thank you so much for watching and have an awesome rest of your day. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.